Arbist, still at my mum's. Had a great birthday. Thank you for all the well wishes. Very well received. Cheers. Going to the gym on my way back. Legs and back, biceps. So, yeah, going to be um, a nice morning for me. Not necessarily everybody else. It was a good day. Went out for a few points. I lost a game of darts with my old man. He whooped me. He always does. Although at the end, just for a bit of fun, we played round the board. And our, our B team, because I had a good daughter. I had a good daughter at all. I had it all competent when it comes to chucking darts. But it's a bit of fun with him. But my last five darts, they were all absolutely bang on. The last two, 25 and a bull. And we just best start laughing. I'll, I'll never get that accurate. And you know what? I relish. And this ain't been morbid. And this ain't been maudling. But I relish every single second I'll spend with my parents. Because I know. I appreciate. I'm grateful. For how blessed I am. To have my mum and dad still in my life. You all know by now that I don't watch mainstream media. They had it on last night. I turned it off. <laughs> um, but people send me things. Carol, you sent me an email during the night. I've got it this morning. And um, Alan, you send a lot of things as well. And that's usually, well, not usually, it's one of the ways in which I receive news about what's going on. Um, the mainstream, completely redundant. You might as well watch Play School or Play Away or something like that. Cracker Jack, it's about as relevant. Um, well, Carol, you sent me a video and I'm going to quickly, there's a lot to it, but breeze through what this video was saying and I, I am going to leave the links because... This would probably get me a ban, really. But um, it was a lady in this video, and she was saying that, in her opinion, which in actual facts I think is indisputable, I agree with it, we've been infiltrated by a fifth column in politics. And we've kind of known this for a long time, but now it's highly visible. You got that Jeremy Hunt, well he's just another World Economic Forum bitch, bought and paid for. Truss, Johnson, all of them. And slowly and surely they've been positioned where they should be, so they've got influence and power. And um, it's how you'll stay safe. Because this is a spiritual war, the people that are pulling their strings are influenced by Satan and evil. They are evil people. I'll come to that in a bit. So, politics, as far as I'm concerned, it's dead. Maybe it has been for a long time. But especially now, I think Labour will get in. Not that it makes the blind bit of difference. But I think things have been engineered to give Labour their chance now. Because this ain't nothing to do with us the voting public. You've seen the pantomime going on, and it's been decided now, let Labour have a go, let the plebs think that can make change. The plebs being me, you and everybody else. So I don't think we've got a choice. I think they're, they're all, they all piss in the same pot. That well trotted out phrase, two wings on the same bird. And they do what their paymasters and their overlords instruct them to do. And it's all integrated. Now, as far as evil's concerned, you know my view. I think this is prophetic. It's pathetic and prophetic. But when, I mean, we're heading towards that situation, very much so. When everything is ready to totally click into place, and there's this 
iron fist over everybody on earth that's when the antichrist will come there'll be one religion and they'll argue for it saying oh religion it's, it's you bloody religious lot you and causing the problems if you got rid of religion there'd be none, none of it and all that and other things as well and they'll make it so there's one everything one army one digital currency and then when the antichrist is in charge um, then you'll know about it and if you don't accept it now you'll, you'll snap out of it then i'm telling you so yeah it was an interesting video um about how we've been infiltrated and it, it's, it's happened previously regimes in the past that have been infiltrated by fifth columnists and it's it's a common thing and we're experiencing it now on the way down to um, have a drink yesterday with my dad in the taxi got chatting to a taxi driver he's actually a bloke who lives on the main drag here my dad knows him and um he, he was talking about politics and he was saying well trust on this and, and I, I interjected and says mate this is not just puppets I says, you know, get rid of one, get rid of the other, replace them with Hartley Hair, or uh, Bungle, or Zippy, or George. It doesn't matter. It, <laughs> they, they are real, they're just playing a part to, to make you think this system is, is for your benefit, you know. And he actually agreed with me. And I don't want to be antagonistic and fall out with a bloke or anything like that. So I'll give him the details from my channel, which is something I don't do, but I did in this case. So I hope I've got a new subscriber there. But this seemed to be conducive to the idea that, um, yes, they are puppets. We say real. You vote for these characters, and it's a wasted vote. Whoever you vote for, politicians might do certain things at a very, very low local level. Like if you have petition some councillor down the road to get the owls in your street fixed, or to fix the street lights, or to get the dog mess up, or get the graffiti scrubbed off the walls, then they may well do but anything on the national level now nah, that they do serve us. And that is clear, true and apparent as far as I can see. Me mum and dad um, today, this upset me, I'm going for the flu job. Now, as ever, because people, no matter how many times you tell them, they always misunderstand what I say. It's in my position to tell people what to do. They've got free will. But in order to have proper free will, you've got to have proper informed consent. You've got to know exactly what you're signing up for. And my mum and dad do, I'm too trusting. They don't believe a doctor can harm them. Now, I, I, again, this is one of these things, you say stuff like this, and people get the wrong end of the stick. I, I say, and all doctors are wicked, and, and, and I'm not saying I'm all in it for the bloody money. But they wouldn't be doing this if they get paid. Not many of them, anyway, not at the kindness of their own art. You might get the missionaries who go to Africa and try to help the bloody starving and thirsty kids there, but they, 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 they wouldn't work in Darlistan. And did that job for if they were getting no money. Same with the politicians. Um, it's rather childish and naive assumption to think that you're never going to get a system where you've got jury duty, kind of, for politicians, whereby people are plucked off the streets and put into this um, situation where they've, they've got to do the job. It's like, that ain't going to happen. It's never going to happen, it wouldn't work. The civil servants who do all the um, the real decision making behind the scenes anyway, they'd still be doing exactly the same job. So, um, there's never going to be a time when politicians probably are going to be taking backhanders and being paid off. If there was paid minimum wage, if there was paid £9 something an hour, and time and half during the weekend on a Saturday and double time on a Sunday. And that was the only, only income that would ever get from politics. All the faces that you all know at the minute, they, would, they wouldn't have gone into it. 
No woodens. It's about power and control. And the same with a lot of doctors, and I ain't saying all of them. But what we've seen over the last two years has got to make you very, very suspicious. And my mum and dad aren't. I'm too trusting. Too trusting. So I sent my mum, rather than tell my mum and dad what to do, which I don't do, I'm in no position to, I've got no authority to, I wouldn't want to. But I've tried to inform them and say, look, this is the score, you will make a decision. So I sent my mum a list of ingredients that's in the flu job. And I, I looked at it and her face, well, I pulled the right face. And uh, I says, we don't want to know, I says, we, we've always had the flu job. And, um, and this is how they got you, are they? Trusting. And another thing that I know people have um, mentioned before about me is, well, what if your parents died of the flu or the <coughs> ingrabbing toenails? Well, my answer to that is the same as what it's been from the start. We don't know how long we've got any of us. Any of us. Get wiped out tomorrow at work, driving on the roads. Each one of us could have a cancer in us now which is going to kill you within three months that you don't know about today. You can catch this going there. You can tumble off um, a, a set of escalators there. We don't know. And there's one thing between taking silly, stupid and unnecessary risks. There's a difference between that and living in fear and doing things to your body that you don't actually know what you're doing but you're prepared to probably trust somebody who hasn't got your best interests at all. Well, I love my parents. I ain't been paid to tell them what's what. I, I don't get um, a, 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 a bit giving the bank every time I give them something. And like I so said, I don't think for a minute, so I'm thinking all doctors are not needing it for the cash because they're right true. They're right fair. But after, after the last two years now, I'll... I'll, I'll I would, I've, I'm deeply suspicious, put it that way. So that's it. Um, that's been my birthday. Oh, I'm off to the gym now. And um, God bless.